Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk about insomnia. I was wondering if anyone has insomnia. Of course, I've said this before, I have panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, agoraphobia, and probably some separation anxiety disorder as well. Um, but anyways, I have insomnia almost every single night, no matter what. When I lay down to go to bed, whether I'm exhausted or it's just time to go to bed for me, I just lay there for hours and hours and hours. I can't sleep. So instead of just laying there, not being able to sleep, and then having the racing thoughts go through my m mind and just, you know, just laying there, I usually just stay on the computer or do something to keep my mind busy because to me, it's worse to lay there and just think about things and it makes my anxiety worse than to just be doing something. So a lot of times I'll stay up till, you know, five, six o'clock in the morning until I'm literally so exhausted, I will just pass out. And that's pretty much every single night. I know that stress makes it worse, but either way, I mean, just the racing thoughts, the anxiety, um, you know, and the, any any little twinge that I feel in my body, anything that happens, I feel like I'm going to die, and everyone calls me a hypochondriac, but I know that I'm really not. I know it's my anxiety. So, I don't know. May, maybe I am a, a, a little bit of a hypochondriac. I don't know. All I know is that this is a real disorder. Not many people understand it, and it's very frustrating. So... What I went ahead and did is I created a Facebook group, so I will have the link below, so make sure that you friend me on Facebook and also subscribe, and I will be putting out videos, probably a new video every Tuesday. So keep checking back, and thanks for watching, and comment below because we really need to get a good support group going because, you know, almost everyone in my life, nobody understands. I've been counseling and it hasn't helped. I'm not saying don't go to counseling. I'm sure it does help for some people. But in my experience, it seems like when I go to a doctor or a counselor, the first thing they want to do is put me on medication. And I always say that I don't want to be on medication. That's just my personal preference. Some people go on medication and they're fine. Just my preference is I don't want to go on medication. So, you know, and that's another thing. Whenever you see a psychologist or a doctor, you know, it's like a two-way street, you know, they're supposed to listen to your needs too, and no one listens, and it's frustrating, and, you know, if I go into an office, true story, and if you go back to my previous videos, you'll probably see this, I went to a counselor once, and the first thing that I told her is that I didn't want to be on medication, and she said, oh, okay, that's fine, and literally about four times throughout the entire intake session. She mentioned medication four times. I told her I don't want to be on medication. And then at the end of the appointment, she told me she wanted to make an appointment with the psychiatrist for a medication evaluation. You know, I, I just told her that I, oh, I told her four times that I want to be on medication. So anyways, like I said, it is good for some people. I'm sure it works, but it's not for everyone. And it's just not for me. That's just not my treatment. I want to get better 100% me, and I feel like medication for me is only a temporary solution. You can see my cat there in the background. He's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching.